Recently, I discovered a very cool, free, and simple method to have your mobile phone as a webcam for your OBS. This method is super simple to do, it's microphone compatible, so if you want to take your audience with you around your house, give them house tours, or room tours, it works with all your overlays, and like I mentioned, the best part about it is that it's completely free. Let's go. How's it going guys? Hope you all have a fantastic day. My name is DC Crow, and today guys, I'm going to be teaching you all how to use your phone as a camera on your OBS. There are only three very simple steps to do this, so let's not waste any time. The very first step, guys, is to set up a link so you can connect your phone camera to your OBS. So head over to video.ninja, which is what we're gonna be using for this video, and click Create Reusable Invite. Give it a name and select any advanced options to suit your needs, and once you're done, hit Generate the Invite link. Once you click the button, guys, this page will pop up. Please make sure that you do not close this page until you have everything done. What you want to do now, guys, is with your phone, scan that QR code, and it'll take you to the link that you're going to be using to display your phone camera. Since this is the link that you'll be using to connect your phone to your OBS, then it may be a good idea for you to save that link to your favorites on your phone. Once you're ready guys, just click share your camera on your phone. And then you can choose whether you want to use the back camera or the front camera if your phone has one. Let's just be honest, it's 2021. If your phone doesn't have a front camera, then you got a piece of ancient technology or whoever designed your phone is a complete potato. <laughs> Moving on. Now your phone's camera is going to be broadcasting to that link in the red box. Open up that link and make sure that your camera feed is on it. Now we need to add that feed onto your OBS and that's super easy to do. You're basically going to be doing the same thing as you would do if you're setting up a webcam, but instead of you adding a video capture source, you're actually adding a browser source and then pasting that link from the red box in it. So open up your OBS, click on your preferred scene, click the plus on sources and head over to browser. Go back to where the browser source link was, the red box, and copy that link into the browser source that you created. Set the dimensions to 1920 by 1080 and make sure you have control audio via OBS checked. We need to have that option checked so then we can actually turn down the volume if it's too loud or turn it off completely if you're not using it. Once it's all set up, click OK and your camera should pop up after a few seconds. So there you go, now you should be able to use your phone as a webcam on your OBS. Now keep this in mind guys, this is a free method of doing this, and you're also doing it through a browser source, so the quality may not always be the best, and you may experience a lot of lag and whatnot depending on your internet connection. The worst part of it all is that you have to have your phone screen on with the browser app open. But this is just a free solution for those who don't have the means or are able to purchase something better. But now guys, I'm gonna be teaching you how I had it set up so I could read chat, take it around my house and still have the microphone working. Let's make this damn thing portable. So big disclaimer here guys, I am not 100% certain if this is compatible with every everyone's phone. It worked perfectly for mine, but I use a Samsung S21, so I'm not sure if it's gonna work with everyone's phone. Also, I know nothing about Apple phones, so iPhone users, I'm really sorry guys. But this is how I do it on my device. For a very simple chat reading app, I use an app called Dank Chat. It's completely free and all it does is show the chat of a channel. This is the app that I use to have chat on my phone at all times. The issue with this method, like I mentioned, is that you have to have your browser open at all times or else the feed to your camera will freeze. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna use the Samsung's pop-up view feature to actually put dank chat over the browser. So open up dank chat, click the plus on the top right and add your channel. Click the app switch button and switch to the browser app. Open your browser and share your camera, then click the app switch button one more time Press and hold on to dank chat and drop in for the pop-up view. And then resize the app to your preference. Now you have both apps open in a way where you can read chat and your browser is also open so you can have your camera feed with you. So that's it guys, that's how easy it is to set up your phone as a webcam for your OBS completely free and how to make it portable. My apologies for the iPhone users out there. I unfortunately don't own an iPhone, so I'm not too sure how to make it portable using an iPhone. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it helped you. I know the quality of this method isn't the best one out there, but this is meant to be a free solution for those who can't afford something better in the meantime. 
If you guys got any questions, you can ask me them on Twitch. I stream Monday to Friday, starting at 4 p.m. Australia Western Standard Time. Would love to see you guys there. And if you guys want to learn more, I have a selection of videos teaching all sorts of things from some exciting camera effects to memes and much more. I also have an OBS help section on the Discord if you guys need any help there. And I also provide resources such as effects, sub badges and even emotes for those who don't have them already. Hope you all have a lovely day and I will see you all in the next video. Catch you later.